Well, here's the example from the book, and we're going to go ahead and do a t-test um, using the lawn care example. So I have the data here for Wells and Atkins. Then I'm going to go to the data tab. I'm going to choose data analysis. Remember, if it isn't turned on, you need to go to file options and turn it on there. I'm going to go ahead and do the t-test to sample assuming equal variances. And I click OK after selecting that test. I give it the variable range 1, the first sample, the second sample, the alpha level, I'm going to go ahead and leave the uh, 0.05 in this case, and then I'm going to choose the output range. Again, I have to be careful when I do this and make sure I don't overwrite my input range 1. And I'm going to put that uh, up here, the output range in E1. I go ahead and click OK, and there it is. It is just that easy. So we have the t-stat computed of negative uh, 0.66. Remember this was a two-tail test. We were looking for is there a difference. The critical value for the two-tail test was 2.26. And so we can see in this case that we definitely do not want to reject the null hypothesis because it is not larger or more negative than that value. We also get the p-value, which we talked about in the slideshow as well. Very, very easy to do.